How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and I have not even had my coffee yet this morning. I am drinking it right now, literally right now. Okay, not literally, because I know a lot of people literally don't like it when people say literally, literally, and it's not literally. Literally? <laughs> Never mind. Um, here is a quick look at my Pokemon. I actually did a bit of training of both Carrot and Pear. It was just kind of off-screen stuff. I said I'd do this, and uh, I ended up fighting like a whole ton of Magikarp using my old rod because they're at level 10, and even though they only give like 28 experience for a level 4 Pokemon, that was pretty good. So that worked out very well for Pear, and then I was able to train them fairly well. I've not gone into the Union Cave yet, though. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. It's so bright and early, and I apologize if this episode is, you know, not part of the daily episodes. I was, I was chilling with a friend last night. It's like, oh man, lost track of time. Next thing I knew, it was like 1.37 a.m. So, <laughs> like, oh, well, it's not a daily series anyway. So, here we are in the Union Cave. Um, there is something very important to keep in mind about the Union Cave, okay? On Fridays, after you have Surf, you can get Lapras in here. So, if you want a Lapras, you need to use Repels when going through. And you know what? I wonder if they can even be bought. That'd be kind of interesting. I, I think they can. Um, I don't really need Lapras. I'm not interested in having it. But I just wanted to point that out to you if you were playing and, you know, you wanted to get a Pokemon that you might not be able to get. Uh, unless you use repels and stuff, because uh, chances are you're going to fight wild Pokemon in there if you don't use them. I'm going to see really quick, just to make sure repels are purchasable. I wouldn't mind having one or two more anyway. Not a lot, because pretty soon I'll be able to get super repels, but I just want to take a look. I want to pick my apricorn. Yeah, shake it. Shake that thing. Great, I got the yellow apricorn, and I'm trying to think right now, how do I take a sip of coffee while still talking? I'm not going to try it, but <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's what's going through my mind right now. Um, okay, what do you need? I need to take a sip of my coffee, of course. Okay, so, like, I mean, repels are awful. They only repel for 100 steps, but that might be all you need. I'm going to get, like, two. Not that I plan on going... Um, through the cave without fighting anything, but I just want to get down to the basement Because that is where I can fight. I Think I can run into onyx more likely than not down there. I've already caught both Zubat and Geodude so um, I really do not want to trigger my limit on dupes claws. Oh Hello Bellsprout Yeah, carrot and pear have been uh, they've been getting some good training in Feeling rather good about that. It was a little slow going, but eh, you know, no big deal. Uh, let's actually go this way. Darn it! Ratata. I guess the nice thing is this pretty much assures me of getting a slow poke in the slow poke well too. Uh, as long as I can run into it within my first five encounters. All right, enough dilly-dallying. Let's go on and, uh, yeah, let's do this. So I'm playing this on New Year's Eve. It's hard to believe that the year is almost over. That's crazy. And I've done, like, so many videos this year. I feel actually really productive. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, let's lead with Carrot. I, I think these two will be able to handle stuff. Trying to get a sand shoe here. I don't know why, but I just I don't know. I like sand shoe. I like onyx too, but I really like sand shoe. I used one in one of my playthroughs of Heart Gold. It was my Japanese playthrough, and wow, my sand shoe who turned into a sand slash. Oh, this guy. I don't know. It, it turned out pretty good. I think he uses a Vulpix, if I recall correctly. I don't want to deal with with having Carrot and Pear fight that. I I honestly don't remember, but I think he has a Vulpix. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. I ain't scared, I ain't scared of nothing. 
fire breather ray. Oh, I was right. He has a Vulpix after all. And I was even able to take a sip of my coffee. Did you even notice? Uh, let's take this thing out. I probably could have taken it out with Carrot. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. I recall this thing being deceptive. That's what I recall. But maybe it's just because of all those times I started with Chikorita. Or maybe even Cyndaquil. I think, yeah, this thing's a real pain to fight with Cyndaquil because I think it has Flash Fire. So even though you wouldn't really want to use Ember against it, it's like, uh, FLASH! Ah! He saved every one of us! <laughs> wow. It's my Pokemon's fire that, f that lights up this cave. Oh, really? Wow. I somehow doubt that. Okay, so we're in the basement of the Union Cave. I magically found an X-Speed. That's so exciting. And I got TM39, Rock Tomb. That is very cool. That'll actually come in handy against Bugsy. Let me just see if anyone can learn it. I mean, it won't come in like super handy, but I guess I could give it to Turnip if I wanted. I don't know if I want to do that though. It's such a difficult decision. Okay, so whatever I run into here, let's see. I think I'm, hmm. Yeah, I should be able to fight either a Sandshrew or... Yeah, let's just see. Okay, so... My encounter for the Union Cave. Gender does not matter, but it can... Uh... Oh, hey, look at that! It's a Sandshrew! Easy as that. That's perfect. And again, if you wanted to get... Um... Oh, what is it? Lapras. You need to use repels when going through the cave. Because otherwise... You're going to run into something, and it's probably going to mess you up. Unless you happen to catch both Geodude and uh, Zubat. Then it probably won't, but maybe. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. It's a bit of a pain, having to choose. Uh, you know, if I really cared, like, that much, Lapras is certainly a better choice than Sandshrew. But it also seems like a lot of hassle, and it also seems a little overpowered. You know, I don't, I don't really like it when things are so overpowered. I think part of the fun of Nuzlocke is not knowing necessarily what you're going to get. And that's why it's interesting playing with the uh, dupes clause. Because I feel like I almost have a little bit more, not control, but foresight. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, too. It also means if one of my Pokemon die, um, or if it dies, I cannot just... Oh, well, it's alright. I have another one. Not that I did that in my Nuzlocke series anyway. Oh, what to name this thing? I'm going to name you... Oh, I already named something Leechy, didn't I? Oh man, I'm going to name my Sand Shrew. There's like, I can't think of any. Oh, Strawberry. You don't look like a strawberry, but whatever. Oh no, you are a pineapple. Like, I can just totally see, you know, evolving into Sand Slash. Kind of looks like a pineapple, all spiky and stuff. We'll, we'll go with that. Why not? Let, let's do that. Alright, so you're a pineapple. Um, right, cool. So that's my encounter for the Union Cave. The Onion Cave. There are so many onions in here. Do you smell these onions? Turnip is composed. Well, that's good. Much better than being uncomposed or decomposed. Ugh, that'd be horrible. All right, let's have these two out. Hopefully that's not a mistake. But, uh, it's kind of nice because Carrot picked up Bite, and I, I feel pretty good about that. It's going to hit for as much as Quick Attack right now. Since it has 60 power. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Actually, this looks great. What am I talking about? Whoops. There we go. All right, we're going to have Pear do this. And hope for the best. Whoa, what a surprise! I didn't expect to see anyone here. Other than all the people around here, and probably the person you are looking at right now. Oh, this thing is such a pain to fight if you started with Cyndaquil. Oh, it's gross. In fact, it's probably rather gross right now, because that has a lot of defense. I'm not going to one-hit KO it. I might not even two-hit KO it. That's how sad it is. Or maybe I will. Let's see if I can do it. Screech! What a jerk. Yeah. 
there. Super effective, yeah. All right, um, whoa, tons of experience. <laughs> that was great. Whoa, I'm beating big time. Yep, you know you're hit it big when you're beating big time. Um, what do you think of this place? I'm obsessed with talking to my Pokemon. I like didn't for a while. What? Pear began poking you in the stomach. <laughs> you playful little thing. You're headed to Azalea, aren't you? Let me see, or let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. If I'm good enough to battle? You want to battle to see if I'm good enough to battle. Wait, how do I determine if I'm good enough to battle? What is that? It's a level 4 Geodude! That thing is so tiny. It's like, just a mini Geodude. More like a Geodud in this case, jeez. Level 4? I bet you even, um, even my rat could take that out. Get out here, Carrot. Now that you have Bite, you can actually fight these things. Not the greatest, but I just want to see how you do. I don't think he uses another level 4, though. I think it's like level 8 or 6. Still no problem. Okay, what was I thinking? <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal. But, I would, uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, yes! Flinching so much! That's so good. I can't wait until I get headbutt on you. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. All right, let's just switch for pear. I don't know why on earth I'm training her. Like right before the bug type gym. Doesn't seem overly wise, but eh, you know, might as well. I don't really have any choice in the matter could just leave her behind like I did. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! All right then, I've decided I'm not leaving until my Pokemon get tougher. But they're dead! Yeah, that one guy, he was looking at that guy. What's that all about? It's kind of weird. It's like, I didn't think anyone else would be in here. What are you doing in here? Ooh, I remember this guy. He uses some coughing. And that is pretty gross. Not even gonna lie, but I've got just the thing for him. Oh, I hope he's using coughing. If I like totally do not remember this correctly, it could be kind of troublesome. Uh, let's go ahead and use confusion. I gotta get rid of stun spore too. Ugh. Although it might not be that bad paralyzing that scyther although oh no i can't do that because i could only switch to to apricot and that would not be ideal i really hope you don't use fire pokemon i don't remember zubax supersonic keeps confusing my pokemon i'm seriously upset about that oh yeah he has a coughing it's only level six here i was thinking it was a lot tougher I just remember it being a pain, one way or the other. But not today! Not today, that was good. Another coughing, wow. It looks so easy, how do you do it? What is this magic? It just doesn't make sense. How, a Butterfree can be so amazing. <laughs> Oh, lettuce, you're great. I need to eat healthier. You're, like, making me hungry. Oh, I flamed out. Flame out. Um, I'm getting so hungry for healthy food nowadays. Uh, legs found a great ball. That's just great. Smelling the sense of the surrounding air. Mmm, delicious air. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Whoa, Geodude. I don't really want to fight it. No, I do not. But I will pick this potion up. And uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, man. I'm trying to think. I remember. There's a guy with a slowpoke coming up. 
And I don't remember if it has confusion or not. I don't think it does. I think it has water gun. Oh, but I don't know. Oh, what am I worried about? I've got carrot. I'll bite that thing. Geodude, ugh. Okay, I don't want to deal with this. I am leaving. <laughs> I'm going away. I don't want to fight. Stop! I'm going to use another one of those repels. This is getting really boring. Okay, I'm using the second repel because I can. It was kind of a waste of money if I didn't use them. Alright, there we go. Alright, dude, let's do this. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. <laughs> uh. What is he wearing? Pokemaniac Larry, what is that all about? Whoa, level 11 Slowpoke. That is weird. Um, let's hit that thing with bite and try to flinch it as much as possible. Yawn. Oh, no! I don't have anything that can wake you up from being asleep, too, so I'm gonna switch. And I'm just gonna hope you don't have confusion. That'd be really bad. Yawn. Ugh. Alright. Whatever. Why are you doing this? I just don't understand. This just doesn't make sense! All this slowpoke is doing is just yawning at me. Like, what? I don't even know what to do. Um... I'm gonna hit it with Vine Whip. Right on! Does it only yawn? Maybe that's all it does. I have to wake Pear up somehow, but I don't want to do it against a level 11 Slowpoke. No! Oh, now it's growling. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was rather annoying! <laughs> Not even gonna lie, that was just the pain, but whatever. I took it out, it's all good. Pear reached level 13. Learn Sleep Powder? Yeah! That's really good! Ugh, my poor Pokemon. Wow, Sleep Powder. I have two things with Sleep Powder. Life is good. Oh, yeah, another thing that I was talking about in the last episode, and that's Sleep Powder plus Compound Eyes, which boosts the accuracy by 30%, okay? Now, there are two ways, really, to calculate how that works. And one, what I was saying was, it, like, I originally thought, because I remember reading this, like, way back, and I guess it's been disproven. I originally thought it's 75 plus 30, and then have that as a percentage. But it's actually 75 times then 1.3, or 30%. So it's 97.5% accurate instead of 105% accurate. It just depends on whether or not you are calculating it from the base accuracy before it's turned into a percentage. Or if you are calculating it from, um, wait, I just got an awakening, didn't I? That's pretty cool. I think I should use it. Uh, so that's what I was saying, like, way back then. I was wrong. It's based off of, uh, I mean, it's, it would be 97.5. It's plus 30% from the 75 as a rate. But it's not 75% or... 30% of 75% or something. I mean, that, there's, that's like a whole nother calculation. 75 times 1.3 and have that as a percent. I'm not even going to bother waking Pear up. I don't think I need you right now. What I do think I need is lettuce. Because I remember there's an angry guy with a Machop out there. And I don't want to deal with that. So, Union Cave is done. Let's uh, actually check out Route 33, and it is raining. And this was so bad with 
um, whenever I start with Cyndaquil. Pant, Pant, I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. That's what should, no, never mind. Uh, I got too tired to explore the whole thing, so I came outside. Well, okay. It wasn't that big. Like, I think you're over-exaggerating it a little bit. Now I gotta pick all these silly old apricorns. The apricorn! Um, because I can actually make something with them pretty soon. And repels effect wore off. Now, I'm on a new route, right? I mean, I'm like, yeah, route 33. I think it's just this super tiny route. I don't think there's anything else there. Um, yeah, route 32 is north, and then it's like Ilex Forest and route 34. So, yeah, tiny little area. I don't even remember what's here, but we're going to find out after I fight this guy. I do not remember what he has. I came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. That's good. I'm happy for you. Oh, shoot. I hope he doesn't have both the Geodude and... Oh, man. That's not good. I think I may have overthought this. I was too worried about that Machop. Well, it's okay. I'll put it to sleep. I should be all right. Oh, man. You know what? This is... I don't really like this. Not even gonna lie. I just remember you had him a chop, but I totally forgot about that Geodude. No. Oh no. Oh man, what do I do? <laughs> oh! This isn't good. Because I think it has Rock Throw, which will be like super duper effective. Oh, this is where it's so difficult because I can't switch to any of my other Pokemon. Oh, I have to figure out what to do now. I guess I could have just used Confusion and won it, but I didn't want to take that chance. Oh, this is bad. Alright, um... I'm just gonna have to play that game as well. I have quick attack, so it's not that bad. Wow, you are like wasting all this time. Maybe you just have tackle. Although I know it gets rock throw at level 11. So what's that all about? Okay, well, you're just gonna have to do this the awesome way, Apricot. It's gonna take forever, but whatever. It's okay. It's all right, you got this. You got this. You've got some defense boosts. You should be okay. It's that rain that's going to get annoying. Oh my goodness. That is not fun. <sighs> You're just like really taunting me because I know if I switched out for, um, if I switched out for lettuce, then I'm just gonna get smacked in the face with a rock throw. And it's gonna kill lettuce. And I don't wanna chance that because that's not good. Because I really don't want lettuce to die. Oh, this is so bad. See, there comes the rock throw. And that did way more damage than I thought it would. I have potions, at least. So I feel pretty good about that. But this is still going to take a while. I just hope I get the critical hit before you do. Oh, man. It's so dangerous. Because I can't just switch out. Because if I get rock thrown, it is over. And this guy has him a chop, so it's like, uh This has to be, like, the buffest Geodude ever. I mean, it has, I don't even know how much defense bonuses. It has full plus six speed. This thing is just crazy. Okay, we're almost doing it. We're, we're almost done. We can do this. We can do this. This is so bad. Okay, uh, you know what? If it's a critical hit, probably wouldn't matter if I was at full health or not, so... 
Let's use the potion in a moment. Come on. Ugh. Okay. We're making progress. But we still have a bit to go. <laughs> and I will rage so hard if this guy uses a potion for whatever reason. I know he won't, but I'm just saying that would be like so bad. Oh man. Oh, one more hit! Okay, finally, hit that thing with quick attack, get it out of the way, that only took forever, but it was really scary, I mean, I did not want to deal with that rock throw. Now, this is the thing I was worried about in the first place, so let's switch for lettuce and just confusion that thing. No worries there. Oh, look at you. You think you're so tough, huh? Haha! <laughs> One hit! You're done. Level 14. Cool. Okay. Whoa, you got more zip than me. Yeah, well, you had a lot of zip there, pal. Uh, by the way, I'm a hiker, so I often go into mountains and caves. I usually, or I don't usually go to the town. I bet you go to all kinds of towns in your journey, don't you? You know, if we were to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information, yes. Uh, whatever. Sure, why not? I'll give you a call when I think of a good heartwarming story, okay? Wow, that was fast. Oh, it's a different guy. Sup? This is Ralph. How are you? I've been spending more time with my Goldine than I have with my kids. Uh, <laughs> there's something wrong with that. You should reevaluate your life. That's a bit sad, actually. You call your mom sometimes, too. Your mom. All right, I guess I should see what my uh, encounter is here. We'll have turnip fight. I honestly don't remember what is on this route. So we're gonna find out. Okay, I get five tries, essentially. And gender does not matter. Come on. What do you think of the rain? <laughs> Turnip seems to be happy about the rain. Ratata. So, Dupes Claws, this is encounter number one that I already have. Thus, I do not count it. But I will actually water gun it just because. Should knock it out. I need a little bit of experience anyway. There we go. I'm a real problem solver. Look at me. Should give me an award for that. That was pretty great. No, it wasn't. That was terrible. What am I even talking about? Oh, there we go. It's a hop -ip. So this is uh, the first encounter that is not a duplicate. And I got it on encounter number two. So that's kind of neat. Oh, man. I think let's see I think water gun wouldn't knock it out but I don't know I really don't want to knock it out even though hop it will be such a pain to train let's just toss a pokeball and see what happens nope you look like a strawberry oh my goodness I have to name her strawberry wait yeah, yeah, because I didn't name my sand shoe strawberry. Okay. Uh, let's try the water gun. I don't... Uh, with the rain, it might. That's the problem. Darn it. Well, let's just try it. Hope for the best. Nothing to worry about at all. Oh! You little troll! That's right, these things are such a pain. But look, it's raining, so you don't even get to synthesize. Uh, why do I even bother? I wish I could switch out for, um, for lettuce right now. That'd be so great. Just use sleep powder on it or something. Uh, 
Oh, why do you do this? I think it only has 5 PP though, so it'll run out pretty soon. I'm gonna try catch it again. I finished my coffee, by the way, in this episode, just in case you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I just thought you should know that, because I know it, and it's a good thing. This is the episode in which I drink coffee. Alright, I got it. This is great. Oh, but you know what? When it evolves into a jump love, it kind of looks like a grape. It's like, oh, do I name you strawberry or do I name you grape? I'm actually going to name you grape, because I think, like... If you do ever become a jump luff, that'll be the perfect name for you. All right, that's just great. Cool, so I caught something here. Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, I guess all that's left is to go to Azalea Town. I'm gonna go do that. Oh, what is going on here? Looks like trouble. So, I think I'm actually going to do that on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock. See you next time, Fire Breathers!